there's a very exciting story taking place in Africa as the old emphasis on aid and philanthropy is giving way to an appreciation for free market capitalism. As Atlas Network's partner, the Eastern Africa Policy Center has documented with this video, there's no better manifestation of this than M-Pesa, a remarkable innovation now broadly used in Kenya to enable transactions using mobile phones. So here is the story of M-Pesa. M-Pesa means mobile Pesa. Pesa is money in Swahili, so it's mobile money. It's a revolutionary product that has changed lives of Kenyans. I believe there's no household that can go in Kenya that uh, doesn't know what M-Pesa is. You walk into a shop, pick your item, you'll get all these shops are registered with Safaricom. They have a pay bill number that is exclusive to them. You go to that um, uh, uh, counter, you dial the uh, pay goods and services, and you just simply pay for your goods. It's as simple as that. Dr. Batange Ndemo is a professor of entrepreneurship at the University of Nairobi's Business School, and he was an official in the Kenyan government who worked on the implementation of M-Pesa. The implementation of mobile money has created huge productivity. We used to send money through postal services, and it used to take four days if it's a patient who has been discharged from hospital, that patient will be detained in hospital for four days and the bill accumulates. But today, uh, somebody tells you somebody has been discharged, it takes one minute and that patient is out. You see the, how much amount of money you have saved and how much productive the economy has become. Michael Joseph was the founder and CEO of Safaricom and is the founder of M-Pesa. He credits a favorable regulatory environment in Kenya for a large part of M-Pesa's explosive growth over the past few years. We were very fortunate. We had a very good governor of the central bank who was out, who thought out of the box. I know that's a cliche, but he actually did. He saw the potential. So he worked with us and the government was very supportive. I wouldn't say the government needs to do anything. I think the government just needs to have a light touch regulatory environment in order to encourage entrepreneurship and, and, and innovation. M-Pesa makes you part of that financial community, makes you now part of mainstream. And so you can now start a new business very easily. You can start from your own home. You can, you know, you, you can, you've seen on the side of the road in, 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 in Nairobi, people selling goods on the side of the road. When they run out of goods, under normal circumstances, they have to close their, do, their shop, go and buy some goods and come back. So they lose a day's trading. Now with M-Pesa, they don't have to do that. And you don't have to look far on the streets of Nairobi to find real people who are quick to sing the praises of M-Pesa. Yani tuseme nchi yote ya Kenya, kona zote sa Kenya. Na mwingine naesa kuwa anahitaji kanda zangu. Na sasa mina wambiaga tu, niambie itakupitia, itakufikia na mnagani. Kuna niambia tuma kwa basi, peana kwa basi furani, na sisi tunakutumia pesa. Sasa wanantumia pesa kwa mpesa, na mina watumia kanda. But I think people are now begin to realize that if you want to help, I wouldn't even use the word help, but assist, you know, Africa to develop. You need to not provide aid, but you need to provide the tools and the support and the infrastructure and the technology to help them to, to, to change people's lives, to bring them out of the cycle of poverty.